Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Tech Motoring. On today's episode, we're gonna be showing you how to update your Hyundai vehicle that does not have navigation using just a simple flash drive and a quick download from Hyundai's website. So hit that subscribe button, stay tuned. We're gonna come right back at you. All right, everybody, well, welcome back. So like I was saying, this video tutorial is a step-by-step -step guide to help you update your Hyundai vehicle's internal software of the vehicle if you do not have navigation. Now, if you do have navigation, I'll go ahead and post a link right up here or I'll put it down in the description below and you can refer to that video if you needed to update your maps and the software on vehicles that have built-in Hyundai navigation. But if your vehicle does not have built-in navigation, we're gonna go ahead and grab a flash drive, head to the Hyundai website, and we're gonna do a step-by-step -step guide of what to do to get your vehicle updated to the latest and greatest. So let's start first. Let's look down at the Hyundai website and see what we need to do from there. All right, everybody. So keep in mind that we're gonna be doing this in a US-based environment here. So we're gonna be using the Hyundai's US website. We're also going to be doing this on a US based vehicle. So depending on your location, the model, the year of your vehicle, some of these processes may vary slightly, but overall the process is exactly the same when it comes to the physical things you need to do. A flash drive, a computer, a download, stuff like that. So let's get into it and show you exactly what we need to do. So we're gonna start right here on the Hyundai website. Now this is once again, the US Hyundai website. So as you can see here, uh, we're just gonna go up to the owner's area here. Now, once again, depending on when you're watching this video, things may slightly vary depending on if they happen to change the website. Uh, but what you wanna look for here is Blue Link Multimedia and Map Updates. We're gonna click on that. It's gonna open up a new page. And down here is where you're gonna see notifications. Now this is where they typically leave all the latest and greatest notifications for the newest updates. So as you can see, there are two different updates listed here. This one, is for the May 2023 navigation map and software update. So once again, if you have a vehicle with navigation, that is the one there that you want to utilize. But this video is about the ones who do not have navigation, which would be the April 14th of 2023 display audio software update. So we're gonna click on that and it's gonna bring us to this web page here. It's gonna show us what's new since the last update. And once again, this is from April, 14th of 2023 here in the US, and it's gonna go over some of the what's new. So for instance, display audio Gen 2V with wireless phone projection. And what they did is they improved the connection pop-up that occurs after updating to iOS 14. So if you're having some issues with your iPhone that has iOS 14, this may rectify some of those issues based on some of the issues that you may be having. So this is some of the updates that you could be experiencing. So keep in mind that even if your car does not have navigation built in, you can still utilize Android Auto and Apple CarPlay for navigation. So this kind of gives you just a little bit extra um, operating updates for your phone to connect to the vehicle to you know, function as basically a built-in navigation to a degree. The next one is Display Audio Gen 1 with Blue Link which is an older generation uh, audio unit in the Hyundai vehicles. So the better remote access with seamless connectivity between the display audio system and Blue Link server. So you're getting some Blue Link updates. Looks like they may have fixed some of the weird uh, connection issues between two things there. That's pretty much what that says. Um, not a huge update here, but as you can see, then you have the list of eligible vehicles. So what you wanna do is if you have the newer Gen 2V, you're going to be clicking on this link here. And if you have the Audio Gen 1 update, you're gonna be clicking this link here. And then that's where you're gonna verify whether your car is eligible for this update or not. Just to show you, we click on the Gen 2V update. And the car that I'm gonna be updating is a 2022 Hyundai Kona. And as we can see here, the 2021-2022 Hyundai Kona is gonna be updated to this software version. 
Here it says 220927, which is September 27th of 22. So even though this update came out in April, this update is actually coming from back in uh, 22 is probably when they finalized it. I'm not sure where they get these uh, version dates from specifically, but as long as it's newer than what you have in your car, then you can verify that this update's even gonna be useful to you. Now, if once you see your car in this list, whether it be a version two or version one, you'll wanna click the download link off to the right. Depending on your browser, you'll see it starting to download through your browser. Now this is a two gigabyte update. Uh, so it will take a little bit for this to download. So we'll let that go. In the meantime, let's go over some of the things they're gonna show down here. Save the downloads on your desktop or laptop. Note the file name and where it was saved. So we'll go over that in a little bit. Open the download zip file and unzip or extract it. We'll show you that step in a little bit. Insert an empty USB drive, four gigs minimum. So make sure you have at least a four gigabyte USB drive into the desktop or laptop, wherever you're using to make this update happen. And then you're gonna copy the two zip files that are inside of that major zip file that you've extracted and put those on the drive. Once again, we'll go over that in a second. Then they have the download instructions of how to get it into your car, which I will actually show you that in a little bit. So going back to the previous page here, we're just gonna be looking at the before updating uh, part here where it says, please use the officially distributed update file. Make sure you get it off the website is basically what it's saying. Don't get it, get it from a third party or a forum or something like that. Uh, when selecting the vehicle, make sure you choose the model year that is correct. Obviously, common sense, just use the one that's for your car. Don't use another car. It just won't work. So don't even bother trying it. Make sure that you use a USB drive formatted with FAT32 file system. Now, if you don't know what this is, I'll walk you through a small uh, way of going through this and uh, you'll be able to format the drive uh, beforehand. Obviously, it gives you some recommendations of what type of drives to use and which ones not to use. So just make sure you have a regular flash drive to use. This is just the one that I'm gonna be using. Um, if you could find something of a decent quality, that's great. This is actually an old four gig flash drive that I have, um, but it's gonna work perfectly fine for this application, so no big deal. If you can try to find something that's the smallest drive that you can find, if it's a 16 gig, a 32 gig, that's better than if you were to get like a 256 gig or 128 gig. Uh, smaller the better when it comes to this because sometimes when you use those big flash drives, um, they don't like to be formatted properly. So sometimes it's just better to find a smaller drive and start with that. So if you could find something that's uh, at least four gigs, but as small as possible, that's the best thing to do. If you can't, we'll try this anyway with something larger, but just letting you know that if you do have some issues, try a different flash drive, see if that does the trick. But first, let's go ahead and format this in what they call the FAT32 file format. And then from there, we'll get the process of carrying over all the stuff from the uh, zip files to the flash drive that we have here. So go ahead and plug this in. Okay, so if you're on a Windows-based computer, which I am, you're gonna want to go into the File Explorer, which you normally see down here. Uh, that is gonna get you to this area, which you'll wanna go to this PC, which has the drives that are located in your computer. Uh, C drive is typically your computer, so don't screw with that one at all. Uh, make sure you find the proper USB drive that you plugged in. So in this case, we could see that this is roughly a four gigabyte flash drive. So we're gonna actually just right click on this. We're gonna click the format button, and we're gonna get this little box that pops up here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure it's FAT32. We're gonna do a quick format because a full format may take a while a while to do. So we're just gonna do a quick format, which should be perfectly fine. If for some reason you have any issues, you can always come back, uncheck this, do a full format, which could take you know, 20, 30, 40 minutes, depending. And then you can try dragging those files back over again. Keep in mind that you're going to wipe everything on this drive. So if you have anything saved on this flash drive that you want to save, this is the time to get it off or just get a new flash drive uh, because this is gonna wipe everything on that flash drive completely. Once you're ready to do this, go ahead and hit that start button. It's only gonna take a few seconds being that it's a quick format and it should be done with that sign right there. It says format complete. Hit okay, hit close. And as you can see, the USB drive now has nothing on it whatsoever. So at this point, all we're doing is waiting for our download to be done, which is located in our downloads folder here. And uh, we're just waiting for this to finish up. Once this finishes up, 
then we're going to go ahead and unzip that file, which I'll show you, and then drag it into the flash drive. All right, so as we can see here in our downloads folder, we now have this file called OS. Now this is a zip file, as you can tell from the zipper. In fact, let me go ahead and make this a little bit bigger so you can see. So this is a zipped file here. And what we're going to do with this zip file is we're actually gonna right click on it. We're gonna extract all, we're gonna extract this zip file. Same folder, we'll just extract it right to the uh, downloads folder here on this computer here. This should take, you know, roughly uh, you know, 15 to 30 seconds, depending on the speed of your computer, the size of this package. All right, so now you'll see in the downloads folder, we have those two files. We have the zip file and we have the folder. And inside of this folder is these two files here. These are two more zip files, but we are not actually going to extract these. We're gonna keep them exactly the way that they are and put these right onto what we call the root of the flash drive. So not inside of any type of folder. We're actually gonna just copy these two files, just like we see here, copy. We're gonna go back over to our flash drive that we have here, the USB drive, and we're gonna right click and we are going to paste. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna take those files, those two zip files, and it's going to put them onto the flash drive. And so what this does, this gets it ready. So the car is going to look for these two specific zip files and it's going to do everything else in the car. So you don't have to worry about you know, clicking like a setup button or something like that. It's just gonna be done through the car itself from this point moving forward. So as we can see, it's gonna take us a few minutes to copy these files to the uh, flash drive. Just verify that the flash drive has those files when you are done. And then we'll be running out to the car to check it. All right, so as you can see, we are finishing up this file transfer to our flash drive now. Now, once this finishes, we're going to see these two zip files right here on the flash drive. So as we can see USB drive, those two zip files are right here on the flash drive. There's not a folder before them. There's nothing else on this flash drive. It's just these two zip files here. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna eject this from our computer like so. And then now we're gonna disconnect the drive from our laptop. And then we're gonna go run down to the car. I'm gonna plug this in. So let's go ahead and jump down to the car and take a look at it. And uh, we'll show you the last few steps to get your non-navigation Hyundai updated to the latest and greatest. All right, everybody. Well, you join me now in a 2022 Hyundai Kona, and we are gonna go ahead and apply that audio update that we put on this flash drive here so we can show you the process of how to do it once you get into your vehicle. So make sure you have your flash drive ready and then follow these instructions. All right, so before you start the car, what you wanna do is get your flash drive ready and plug it into a USB port. Now, depending on your model vehicle, depending on a lot of things, uh, your USB ports are located probably in different areas. This one's located right here. Your car may have multiple USB ports, so if it doesn't work in one, try the other one. Once you have it plugged into the USB port, go ahead and start your car. Let it warm up for a second here. Let the screen turn on. And then we're just gonna give it about a minute or so before we touch anything on the screen. We wanna make sure it loads up completely. We wanna make sure that it loads the flash drive perfectly fine. If you get one of these, uh, you know, obey the traffic rules thing, just make sure that you hit confirm. And uh, once again, just to verify that this car does not have navigation. This is a non-navigation uh, vehicle. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go into the setup button and then we're going to go into the general menu here. And here we can see the current software on the vehicle is from 2021. So this is a March 11th of 2021 version software. So this is obviously going to be uh, a much newer software that we're going to be loading into the vehicle. This this car has not been updated since it was purchased. So if we hit update here, it's going to say update to the next version now. And as you can see, it's going to be updating to the newest version. This is 22.9.27. So September 27th of 2022. So this is a late last year um, version here. And uh, it'll tell you there's some features that won't be available during this process. No big deal. Hit yes let it go ahead and do its thing. So at this point, it's now reading the files off of the flash drive. It's now loading them into the vehicle. 
and we should get some sort of progress bar coming up in a second. There we go. And so now it's doing the system update for this vehicle. Even though it does not have navigation, it's not going to get any type of updates for navigation, but it's going to update some of the functionality of the actual system here. So if Hyundai added some extra features, if they did anything to improve uh, some of the functionality or if there were any bug fixes, this is what gets done through this software update since they don't offer any type of um, over the air software updates in these vehicles. So we're gonna go ahead and give this a little bit of time to do the system update. As you can see, there's five steps in the uh, process here. And you can see it says update in progress, turning off or powering, uh, turn off the power or ejecting the device containing the update files during the update may result in data loss. And so what you wanna do here is you wanna make sure you're actually running the car. Don't do this just on like, the car being on on the 12 volt because this could take a little bit of time and you don't want to be taking any chances killing your 12 volt battery so let's give this a little bit of time to do its thing and then uh, we'll see what the uh afterwards what it looks like okay looks like it's just about done here and it says the system will restart so the screen should go black any second now and then it should come back up and uh, we'll see what it does. See if, see if it gives us some sort of confirmation that everything's been done. All right, system is starting to boot back up again. Okay, now let's go back to setup, go back to general. And now we can confirm the software version's been updated. So we see 220927, which is exactly what it said it was gonna get updated to was that version there. So. Perfect, it looks like the update went through successfully. So whatever changes were made uh, since the last time this was updated, which was well over a year ago, uh, we will now see those changes done. So I might actually have to go back and see some other previous updates that were done uh, since it's been quite a while since this vehicle has been updated. All right, everybody, well, there you go. There is the Hyundai non-navigation update for your Hyundai vehicles. So if your vehicle does not have navigation, this is the one that you wanna do to make sure you get the latest software for your vehicle, uh, even though you don't have any built-in navigation. So as you can see, the process is a little different than the navigation process, but it's actually simpler. It's easier because there's a lot less data, a lot less things you have to worry about. Throw some files onto a flash drive, plug it into the car, do the update, and it just does the update and it's done. So really cool to see that Hyundai is supporting non-navigation vehicles as well in this way. Anyway, I'd like to thank you very much for watching this episode. If it helped you out, make sure you give it the thumbs up just below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for future content. Of course, I'd like to thank you very much again for watching today's episode. And remember, welcome to the future and welcome to tech motoring. And we'll see you on the next episode.